Hey everybody, how you doing? This, uh, I don't know if you're gonna call this a little rant or what, but uh, I've noticed that uh, a lot of YouTube videos, the uh, there's, uh, how do I say this? There's titles that scream out at you, the truth about the government, the truth about the Philippines, the truth about this and that. And it seems to imply the truth means you're going to hear something negative. My question is, can the truth be positive? Mr. B, where's all this coming from? <laughs> well, as a lot of you who followed me know, I uh, put up a video where I just let my wife talk. And uh, of course, it's her nature to uh, point out negative things. And so uh, let me just say this, and needless to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, we all see the world through our own eyes, how we were brought up, in what environment, in what education, and uh, what influenced us. And so that shapes the world. Fortunately for me, I was raised in a good family. My dad didn't beat us. <laughs> he wasn't an alcoholic, had a few drinks, help him get to sleep at night, so-called. And my mom was a teacher. She was a good person. She had a good sense of humor. Uh, she uh, was a kindergarten and first grade teacher. And she, I feel that we had a great upbringing. My older brother, who was raised in the same family, doesn't have the same feelings for our mom and dad that I do. Possibly because he was the firstborn and I was the second born. And the firstborn a lot of times has it rougher because young people don't really know how to raise. There's no parents manual on how to raise children the right way. So they do kind of a trial and error. Either, you know, I'll, uh, I hated my upbringing, I'll never raise up my children the way I was raised, or I had a good upbringing, and I'm going to raise the children the way I was raised. So I uh, had, had a good upbringing. Gloria, my wife, on the other hand, because she was born with a reading disability called dyslexia, uh, she was bullied in school, uh, even kindergarten, first grade. Uh, she was picked on. Uh, her, even her siblings, according to her, made fun of her because she couldn't read as well as they did. And uh, to make matters worse, worse uh, she was sent off to live with her uncle, who was a nasty old man, and molested her for years. And I'm sorry to say that, but uh, I'll say that's the truth. <laughs> And then when she tried to complain to her parents, you know, it was her fault. What did you do to make him do this? So consequently, her view of the world was not rosy. So she sees the world a little bit different than I see the world. Does she see it as the truth? And I don't see it as the truth? I don't think so. Uh, I believe the world is a big garden with flowers and weeds. Some people focus on the flowers and some people focus on the weeds. They're both the truth. So I'm going to uh, tell you what brought all this on. I had a um, subscriber comment. And because he was uh, 
ripped off in the Philippines. I mean, he told me this in a, uh, a while back in a comment. Uh, he was scammed. He was cheated. He was lied to. Therefore, he believes that the way I see the Philippines is through rose-colored glasses, meaning I'm just, I don't see it the way it really is. And when Glory was complaining about, you know, the traffic and people bumping up against her in, um, uh, in the crowded marketplace, she was telling the truth. So, I just had to say that, uh, you know, we, we see the world through our own eyes, through our own upbringing, and I wouldn't put you down if you saw it differently than me. And I hope that you don't put me down because I see it differently than you. So basically that's all I wanted to say. Um, so I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you another time. Take care. Bye-bye.